Hey, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at Terra Luna. I do want to say that I'm not a financial advisor. You should do your own research before investing money into crypto. If you haven't seen the previous update, make sure to check it out. It's going to be in the top right hand corner of the video. Now, jumping into the daily chart, this is trading view. So we are in a beautiful uptrend uh, on this chart. As you can see, even with this dip, we're not losing any structural support. So you can see that we're constantly making higher highs and higher lows. So until you start losing this low at $52, you're still in an uptrend, right? So you can potentially even come down as low as this $52 price over here and create a nice double bottom pattern. But what we're doing right now is we're landing on the, we're actually losing the 1.618 on the large Fib over here. So if I just zoom out a little bit, you can see that we have our Fibonacci set up over here from the high in March to the low over here in May. That gives us the 1.618, which was our target, which was perfectly met at $66. And we broke above or broke from that level. And now we're looking for a back test of support. So the fact that we're below this level isn't a you know, a big deal right now because this can end up being just a wick as long as we close above this level. This is solid support for us. Now I'm just going to move the price tag just a bit. So you can see that the gap in between the EMAs was a bit big, right? A bit large. As you can see here, you, you had a nice squeeze for the EMAs. The EMA squeezed and we had a nice bounce. So the 20 EMA basically bounces off of the 55 EMA. So the yellow line is the 20 and the red line is the 55 EMA. So as you can see, the EMAs are just going to come back closer together and we're going to be ready for the next leg up in the market. I did give you this buy zone in the last video anywhere from $68.6 to 63.6. And as you can see, we're landing in this zone beautifully right now. So this potentially can be our bottom. I'm going to show you another support level uh, on the next chart that we're going to take a look at. But yeah, so far, this is looking good. If you see Bitcoin absolutely, you know, gets you know, crash crushed on and, and Bitcoin's going to be bleeding for the next couple of days. And you see it go into the higher 30 Ks, lower 30 Ks. I would say maybe look for some support over here on the 1.414 because we never really had a back test of support here either. So $46, $47 is a nice support. We potentially can just, you know, come back down here, have a huge wick to the support line and we're going to get straight back up because Luna is a fundamentally sound project, uh, you know, with the demand rising for UST, the Luna tokens are being burnt more and more. So the price will uh, will be increasing, obviously. But yeah, doesn't mean that Luna can't come back down. It doesn't mean that we're not going to have a pullback with the market. But I have to say that Luna has been performing very good with these pullbacks there, you know, from the all time high over here, it's down 38%, which is not a lot. Some of the projects are down like 80% from their all time highs. So for now, great entry points on Luna. If I jump into the daily chart, so I did give you this support on the daily RSI over here. I told you if we lose this pink line, look for some support over here on this white trend line for your good entry zone and as you can see this is a good entry zone actually i should i think just move this up just a little bit okay hold up yep so that's that's better so 35 on the index is a great entry on the daily rsi because we've bounced off of that level before and hopefully we can hold this level as support once again so yeah and that's it for this daily chart now, jumping on to the four hourly chart, so you can see that we do have this huge white trend line, right? So this is our kind of support band that we've hit in September in September. Once again, we've hit it in November and we're potentially going to hit it once again. And this means that we're going to go below this swing low if we're going to hit this trend line, right? So uh, I wouldn't necessarily want to see that, right? So the absolute low that I'd like to see is fifty two dollars because that's where our previous swing low is, right? So I would like to see a nice double bottom pattern here, but I don't want to see us lose uh, this price over here at 
$52, okay? So if we were to come back down to this trend line, I'd say that would be around about just below $50, right? $49, $48. And as you can see here, we had a bear pennant over here, as you can see. And with the target from that bear pennant, uh, we're looking at $57 roughly if, if this target is going to, you know, carry itself out. But for now, you can see that we're holding the support of the 0 0.5 on this Fibonacci. So this Fibonacci retracement is a little smaller than the previous one. This one is set from the swing high in December to the swing low in the middle of December. That gave, gave us the 1.618 and that was met perfectly. As you can see, we got to the 1.618 at $101. And so after my last video, we did hit this level once again. And from there, we had the pullback to the 1.272. We lost that, got back above it. Now we got rejected from the 1.414. We got back down, rejected from the 1.272, got below the, the first FIB level, and, you know, so on and so forth. And right now, we're losing the golden ratio. We're losing the 0 0.5. Hopefully, we can hold this as support. Another uh, support level below that would be over here at $60.75. And... Below that, we have $58.57 and a half, roughly. So, yeah, look for these support levels to be held. I don't uh, want us, you know, if we're super bearish, right, and we end up coming back down and bouncing off of this trend line, it's not that bad, to be honest with you. It would mean that we're breaking the trend, obviously, because we're going to create a lower low. But still, if we end up bouncing off of this trend line, it wouldn't be that bad because we're still adhering to the support trend line. Now, if you start losing it, that's when, when you know, that's when things can start getting rough and you're going to have to look for this swing low at $40, right? Because this is a crucial support level over here. But, you know, so far, so good. I'm not expecting that to happen anytime soon. Uh, and yeah, let's let's see what this market does. Obviously, buying the dip is the smartest thing to do me and my friends were buying the dip like crazy and i'm giving you all the buy alerts in the patreon so the link is in the description make sure to check that out but jumping into the rsi on the four hourly chart we're absolutely oversold right now so as you can see uh, let me see if i if i see any divergences over here so let me just remove the drawing so they're not as distractive so you can see that we're creating a bullish divergence here. As you can see, the RSI is printing a higher low and we're printing a lower low on the price action. That's a divergence. That's a regular bullish divergence. And this usually ends up with a nice price appreciation, a relief rally. So you can expect that in the coming days. Maybe we still consolidate for a couple of days and then we have that nice relief rally. But we'll see. We'll see. Um... We just had the bearish cross here January 3rd. So if you sold January 3rd based on that bearish cross, you now have the ability to buy back in 30% cheaper. So that's a good way to use the, the you know, the MACD. Uh, and the stochastic is coming back to the oversold as well on the four hourly. So great entry points right now. Like I said, we're holding support. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. As you can see, if I just... Uh, bring back the drawings and bring out a trend line over here. As you can see, we do have a trend line over here that we're not able to get through. As you can see, if I just do it, you know, bring out the trend line, let me just make that white. So as you can see, once you break this trend line, that will be your sign that you're potentially flipping bullish. But right now you're in a downtrend, you're getting hit by this trend line, you're getting hit by the FIB levels and potentially you're going to get hit by the 4 hourly 20 EMA. So yeah, let's see what this space does. Thank you for watching. If I missed out anything on the charts, please let me know down below in the comment section. I'd love to read all your comments and thoughts on Luna. Make sure to check me out on Twitter as well as our Discord server and the Telegram chat. And like I said, we do have a Patreon. Check it out. The links are in the description. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye and good night. Also, guys, make sure to check out ExpressVPN. This is the best VPN we have out there. So if you want to protect your data and you want to protect your information from your local network providers from anywhere in the city, if you connect to a Wi-Fi network, you're going to be safe using ExpressVPN. So also you can battle censorship with, with a VPN. 
Uh, for example, if you live uh, in Japan and you want to access the streaming content of a different country, let's say Canada. So with ExpressVPN, you can change your IP address and you can access the streaming content on any, you know, any basically uh, streaming platform. So yeah, and for us in the crypto space, it's really, it's really important to keep our data and information safe. And for you US folks out there, it's really good to use a VPN sometimes because you get left out a lot of times with launch pads and different IDOs and ICOs. So yeah, you have a 30 day money back guarantee. And also there is an exclusive deal for you. If you use the link in the description, you're gonna get uh, obviously 30 days risk free and three months for free if you if you decide to sign up for the one year plan but yeah the links are in the description make sure to check out expressvpn that's pretty much it i'm gonna catch you in the next one goodbye and good night